Earlier in the show, we showed you how one man's passion for air could save us a fortune at the petrol pump. Well, 16,000 kilometres away, a very different air engine revolution is taking place. I'm at the wholesale fruit and veggie market in Melbourne. Six o'clock in the morning, and as you can see, it's total chaos here. Not the sort of place you'd expect to see the demonstration of a brand new technology. Yet, that's exactly what we're about to witness. The markets are noisy and pretty polluted, thanks to all those petrol and gas-powered trolleys and forklifts. Engineer and inventor Angelo Di Pietro is hoping to put a stop to all that, using his own air engine powered trolley. The remarkable thing about Angelo's engine is its size. This is the petrol engine that came out of that car, and he replaced it with this. It weighs just 13 kilograms. And the reason that's possible is its ingenious design. Instead of pushing pistons up and down like in a conventional petrol engine and in the French air motor, here, compressed air moves a single rotary piston around to power the central drive shaft. The beauty of the design is that the engine parts hardly touch. A layer of air cushions the rotation of the piston, so there's very little loss of energy to friction, and so very little loss of power. In a normal car, much of the engine power output can be lost running the engine itself and things like the gearbox. Angelo's rotary engine will be much more efficient. There's no gearbox, few parts to move, and the engine itself is incredibly light. So much of the power goes straight to the wheels. Its size to power ratio is incredibly good. There's not many car engines that you can hold in your hands. And Angelo has plans for a new engine weighing just six kilos, less than half the weight of this one. For 30 years, Angelo has dreamt of creating the perfect air engine. And he's got home video evidence that his rotary air motor has got many more applications than just the veggie markets. It works on water, in cars, and is powerful enough to pull heavy loads. Angelo is still refining his engine. When the trolley is ready for the markets, there will be no more dangerous fumes, and it will be simple to refill. To fill up, of course, you don't need petrol, just a bit of compressed air. It takes about two or three minutes to fill up, and for that you get about two hours of driving. The trolley's already got the thumbs up down at the markets. So you reckon this is the future? It's got to be. It's got to be, mate. This is uh, the intention to drive. It's going to help uh, the environment. It's going to help the, the, the health of people and uh, it's going gonna, it's gonna to generate many thousands of jobs. So on different sides of the world, in different ways, two men are doing what was once thought impossible and changing the way we could all live beyond tomorrow.